May 5th. God's will. Thy will be done, as in heaven, so on earth. Matthew 6:10. Many people shrink from God's will. They think that it always means pain, or sorrow, or bereavement. They always feel melancholy when you speak of doing the will of God. Alas! How the devil has libeled God! The will of God is the will of a father. It is the fatherhood of God going out in action. It is not the will of your father that one of these little ones should perish. This is the will of God, even your sanctification. If only the will of God were done on earth, as it is done in heaven, there would be peace between the nations, and love, and happiness in all our homes. Love would cement the union of all men in a city of blessedness. The fact of the world's present condition is no argument against the beneficence and blessedness of the will of God. It is because men will not do the will of God that things are as they are. In our own life we shall never be really right or happy until we have got to the point of saying, I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. We may not begin there. The first step is to choose it, then we shall come to accept it lovingly and thankfully, but, finally, we shall rejoice and delight in it. If you cannot say thy will be done, say, I am willing to be made willing that thy will should be done. If your will is like a bit of rough and rugged iron, tell God that you are willing for it to be plunged into the furnace of his love, so that all which is unyielding and obdurate may pass away before the ardent heat of the divine fire. Depend on it that he will not fail, nor be discouraged with the long process that may be required, and that he will not be rough or violent. He will stay his east wind. He will keep his hand on the pulse that he may be aware of the least symptom that the ordeal is too strong. At first there may be a twinge of pain, as when a dislocated limb is pressed back into its proper position, but afterwards there is the blessed restoration of healthy vigor. You will only lose what you would gladly give up if you know as much as God does of what promotes soul health. Whosoever, said our Lord, will do the will of my Father, the same is my brother, and sister, and mother. In his will is our peace. Prayer Most gracious God, to know and love whose will is righteousness, enlighten our souls with the brightness of thy presence, that we may both know thy will and be enabled to perform it. Amen.